create a sprite animation in this uh, tutorial. So there's one more thing we need to do. Um, we, we have our outlets that we connected. We um, connected our label and our IB action with the button. I wanted to uh, connect this um, as well, Th this image, because we're going to, when the animation starts, we're going to get rid of that image and then we're going to show a new image to the screen eventually. Um, so right now we're going to click on our little assistant here and we're going to control, hold down the control key and drag and let that pop up and we're gonna okay, we're gonna call this coin because eventually this is where we're going to display our, our coin heads or tails right um, so let's um, hit connect so that outlet is made um, we can get out of the assistant editor and we'll actually go into the M file the coin controller M file mm -hmm. and we're going to synthesize that as well coin right okay so so next we're going to create a another variable right in between the end of our interface and the, before the beginning of our implementation and we're going to um, make this UI image view and much like our coin is a UI image view but we're going to make our a custom one that's not on the um, not on the uh, view controller yet. So this is kind of, we're making one programmatically instead of on the storyboard, right? Uh, and this we're gonna use to contain mm -hmm. the image of our sprite. Um, so right now we'll just call this, um, we'll call it IMG, short for image and view, and then just semicolon there. All right, so we'll be calling this momentarily. Um, so we'll, I have these files that we're gonna use um, I'll make them available as well in a zip file. Uh, again, just found these uh, online, but it's a, a sprite. Uh, it's about 14 different images of a coin being flipped. Okay, um, if wanted to do this right, you would probably make your own and take your time and make sure you got it right. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to grab these over and drop them in our supporting files folder. Make sure that copy items is checked and go with the other defaults should be good and hit finish and I have my images in here mm -hmm. so next we're going to um, create our animation uh, in the IB action here so we actually last time we we did this uh, these calculations here just as an example of how some variables work we're going to get rid of that now though we don't, we don't need that for this um, so the, the first thing we're going to do, though, is um, get rid of our our coin. Um, we don't need we don't need the the coin image to show anymore. So um, the the little hand flipping, right? So so we're going to say um, coin dot hidden equals all uppercase true. Basically, what that does is it removes that um, this image that's uh, right here from the screen, and now we're going to create our animation. I'm gonna I'm gonna drag some code over here, and I'll, I'll go over it in a second. Uh, again, this will be made available to you, so you don't have to write all this down. But basically what we have here is an array, and an array is a collection of um, variables. So in this case, we're creating a, an array that's going to hold UI image variables. So we're putting all of these, these images in, into an, one array, which we're going to run through as this animation protocol, which is uh, pretty handy. Um, and if you see, just so you guys see this, if you hold down the command key, um, any of these um, variables can be clicked on and you can get more information. So this takes you to the animated images interface where you can see all the different methods that you can use with it. 
Uh, that's kind of a nice feature if you want to learn more about something. You just hold down the command key and kind of click on them to go and see the actual class associated with it. So anyway, we have, let's go over this. So we, we set our array. This is how you kind of set an array. You have, This is allocating the memory for it. Um, and then we're going to draw it to the screen. Um, so we're associating the this image view. Um, we're associating an area of the screen. This is going to make a rectangle where this image view is going to be displayed. Um, and how this works, this is the X and Y variables. And then this is... 150 um, by 130, kind of over and down from that starting point. Uh, then we actually have a um, the animated images. We're associating that that image with the animated images uh, method, and we're going to say, hey, what are we going to use for this animated images? We're going to use this image array which we just created up here. And then we're going to specify the duration of the animation. So it's going to last one second. That's what that's saying. Um, and then this is just saying the content mode is going to start at the, the bottom left, um, which is pretty standard for this. Um, and then we're going to add this view, add this as a sub view to our current view. So basically that's going to put the you know, image view on the screen. And then right here, it just starts the animation, okay? And the last line here um, says, after three seconds, after a three-second delay, go ahead and call this method. We haven't created this method yet, but basically that method is going to contain the um, code to stop this animation. So it'll keep on going until we specify it should stop. So let's, let's create that method real quick. So we're going to go right out of the IB action. We're going to create our own method. Uh, you do that by doing a little dash. And then in parentheses, we're going to say void because we're not returning anything. We'll get into that later, how you can return something in a method. And we're going to say stop the animation, just as we had specified up above. And you do an open curly brackets. And you just press Enter, and it creates the close bracket there. And what we want to put in inside of this is a very simple line that's just going to be square bracket image view and stop animating the end there right and so that's going to stop the animation and we could even at this point um, say you know what coin dot hidden equals false so we can actually show that to the screen now So let's see what happens when we run this. All right. So we have three seconds of the animation, then it goes back to our image. All right, so next time I'm going to show you how we can actually, uh, we flip the coin, and then we're going to actually do some random calculations to decide whether we should display a head or tails to the screen.